بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم my name is محمد عاصم I'm working as DevOps engineer in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up the Jenkins in docker container and we are going to set up not just Jenkins we are going to also do the backup part also I'm going to show you that how you can restore the Jenkins uh, with a single command so let's start so uh, I will provide you this link and this is uh, the setup we are going to do so this is my repo link and what I will be doing I will be setting up Jenkins in a play with my docker so what I'm gonna do I'm going to simply copy this SSH and I'm going to open one shell in this one let me zoom in a bit for you guys so I guess it is too much so that is fine so what you have to do is to simply copy paste this command and you will see that how easy is to set up Jenkins how to take backups and how to restore backups so uh, let me show you this part so uh, this is not necessarily but uh, what I'm going to do um, simply I'm going to copy this command so what this command does that it is going to create the name uh, volume with uh, name Jenkins and I'm going to show you that so simply I'm going to copy paste uh, this command and okay what it says that um, I have issue let me show you that okay, let me just check it so let me do less zooming so it is actually difficult for me to even cover so okay um there was a mistake in the copy and pasting anyway uh, it is going to show an error as well because uh, i have to create the jenkins network so if you see nothing is going to be happen like the start of uh, jenkins is not gonna be there so i'm going to simply remove this Jenkins and I'm going to simply create one network here it is not actually a requirement but usually I do um, start my custom um, network if I use docker run to make sure that I can attach this network with any other uh, networks I created so just to update you um, Jenkins will going to be start in about one minute so if i show you docker volume ls you will see that one named volume is already uh, set up so what i'm going to do if i navigate to this section if i click this and um, in a short while about as i told you that um, there, uh, there is some resource the resource issue in uh, this um, uh, regarding private docker so you have to wait a while so if i do docker ps hyphen a as this is the demo uh, which is going to be you know uh, give you more understanding how you can set up uh, jenkins quickly how you can do the backups you can save this uh, star backups uh, into s3 bucket or wherever you want to store and simply you can restore all your jenkins from that so let me first of all as I'm showing you the data part so what I'm going to do I'm going to say docker exec interactive shell into Jenkins and get this content so currently we are installing or setting up our Jenkins and I'm going to create just a dummy uh, pipeline in this one and then what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to destroy this uh, Jenkins uh, clean my system and then I'm going to simply restore um, whatever I have created so uh, definitely I need to tell you that if you use uh, the play with docker you will uh, definitely find some uh, resource issue with this because if I show you docker stats sorry as so Sometimes the memory and CPU utilization 
um, is not that um, available as it shows uh, on the screen. So if I do docker ps hyphen a, so I'm going to install the suggested plugins. Let's try again. So it is started now. So uh, the reason I'm showing you this, uh, you might also face this and might be container is going to stuck. As I told you, some resource issue you might face with David Docker. But anyway, this lab is something uh, which is highly requested and a lot of people looking to deploy Jenkins and not just uh, it is covering, um, it is the deployment of Jenkins you can, um, uh, there are actually a lot of requests with regard to the backups and restoration of Jenkins. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply paste this um, passwords and I'm going to call this. So admin admin is the password and I'm going to, I'm going to say cloudgeeks.ca and I'm going to save and continue. Close it. Never. That's fine. Start Jenkins. So anyway, our setup is completed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply uh, create one pipeline, and pipeline name is going to be, let's say, Cloud Geeks Jenkins pipe. So just a pipeline, okay? I'm not going to go into the details what pipeline is and whatever. Uh, but just I need to show you that. I have set up one pipeline. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this docker remove hyphen f Jenkins. Okay, Jenkins is removed. So docker ps hyphen a. What I'm going to do also, I need to show you docker volume as ls and I'm going to simply remove this one as docker remove. Uh, okay, okay. Docker volume remove. I guess this is the command. Okay, if I do Docker volume ls, you see currently I don't have anything, but uh, what I forget is to take the backup. But uh, the point I just need to show you that everything is just removed. So currently we don't have anything. So let me do the same stuff and I'm this time I'm going to take the backup of that so it is going to total, totally remove the stuff from my machine so you see no port is running everything is clean up so now I'm going to um, copy this command and I'm going to simply uh, create a container from this one so it is going to create a name volume Jenkins is already uh, loaded so let me show you this part i mean i have to show you guys that uh, it is going to be totally uh, start from the scratch because the new volume is created and it is going to ask uh, for the new installation steps again as we have already performed that and what i'm going to do i'm going to um, simply create a backup from this and then i'm going to remove this again so um, So you will have a better understanding. So I'm going to do the same stuff, but I'm going to take a backup of this as well. So Docker exec uh, directive shell into Jenkins and get this. So it spits out uh, this key and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to install my um, suggested plugins. And what it does, it is going to install uh, these suggested plugins into that particular volume we have created. So it will take a while. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply take a backup of this my. As far as the backup of Jenkins in a container, you have to simply copy this, copy paste this command. Um, one thing I need to update you uh, in the above command, what I have done, I have selected my working directory so if you go to the documentation of this Jenkins and the default working directory is the var slash var Jenkins home so 
Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply create a backup by using this command and it is going to create a charge easy backup. If you see uh, slash for Jenkins home is my uh, my target directory or working directory. So what I'm going to do, let me see everything is fine. You see, I have to start from the uh, scratch and you will see uh, nothing in this. Um, Uh, no pipeline you will able to see so I'm going to say cloud geeks dot ca so save and continue so no password never this is just a demo so start Jenkins so I should have no pipeline available in my Jenkins as I told you that you see this is from the start so I'm going to create one item here I'm going to uh, call this cloud geeks um, Jenkins pipe I'm going to um, save this so previously I shown you the setups of setup of Jenkins but now I'm going to create a one backup okay so let me simply paste this command and what it does that it is going to let me do from the start so Again, there is a mistake in copy and pasting. So I'm going to simply copy this and paste it here. Okay, I might be doing some mistake. From Jenkins container. So present working directory and let me simply okay that seems to be correct so you see um, there was an issue with regard to the copy and pasting so anyway this is the command you have to simply copy it and paste it so what it does that it does um, take the tar backup of your uh, home directory in Jenkins so let me show you guys in a while that so this uh, backup dot tar is actually uh, this is the tar uh, which has all your Jenkins backup so if I do docker ps hyphen a what I'm going to do I'm going to simply remove my running container and I'm going to simply remove the volume as well which is the name volume docker volume ls and I'm going to remove docker uh, volume remove and with the name Jenkins okay so I'm going to remove this um, volume and now if I do docker volume ls you will see um, no volume is going to be available in this machine so anyway if you navigate to this section you see no port is open if you refresh it everything is just like uh, nothing is here and everything is removed so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, I'm going to now I'm um, covering the last part of this video. So in this last uh, part, what I'm going to do, I'm going to again spin up this uh, Jenkins one more time, and this time I'm not going to sim um, I'm not going to make any registration or anything else. So okay, let me. Just copy this, copy paste this again, and I'm going to simply copy this part here and I'm going to paste it. So this seems to copy fine, and now it is asking to start from scratch, but we but we don't want this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all show you guys that yes, this Jenkins is started up but it is actually built is a pure uh, Jenkins installation new installation and but we want uh, to restore our actually the backup we have created and one pipeline is actually created you see it is started but is it is asking for the registration so these are the uh, basic command if you want to go one by one this pretty much self explanatory but uh, what I'm going to do 
I've already copied this command. I'm going to simply copy this command and I'm going to paste it here. So what this command does, it is going to simply um, do the restoration part and let me show you and it is going to restart the Jenkins. So what it does that it is actually copied this particular uh, backup tar into Jenkins and uh, restarted the Jenkins. So this is all you have to do with regard to the Jenkins. So I'm going to click the refresh. So let's see what happened. So now it is asking me to sign in. So I set up my password as admin, admin and username is also the admin and admin. So guys, um, you will be able to see that our Jenkins is successfully restored and you will see that one pipeline which we have set up with the name Cloud Geeks Jenkins files, a pipe should be available. So you see uh, it is actually accepted our credential. So as I told you that uh, this is going to be a little slow, but anyway, this is how you can simply set up the Jenkins in a container and set up the backups and set up the restoration part. It is a matter of few commands. In fact, I've just restoration part is a single command. Backup is also a single command. Even the deployment is pretty much a single command. So you can simply do all this part with a single command. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel and share as much as you as you can. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.